Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. And uh, I'm going to ask you the last questions. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, Coach. Um, wait. Um, there are some players familiar here in the Philippines like uh, Jason Brickman, uh, yeah, John Fields, you mentioned him earlier. And am I right, uh, Joshua Munzon? Yes. Okay, yes. I I'd like to, uh, for, um, your, to get your uh, comments on them. Uh, can you describe these players when they played under you? Uh, Jason Brickman, he, he, uh, he played for me. Uh, I coached against him when he played on the rival team. Uh, and then I brought him over to our club and we won a championship with Jason. And I love Jason to death. Uh, he's a true point guard. He runs your club. Uh, he's quiet. He shows up early. He stays late. Uh, he does everything that you ask of him. And he's a joy to coach. His negatives, you know, I like to be sometimes have him be a little more aggressive offensively. You know, uh, sometimes to take over a game and score a little bit more. And those are conversations that we had. But as a whole, I, I, I think Jason Brinkman is, is, is a quality player and a quality person. And uh, I wish him nothing but success. You know, Josh Munson, he's playing there now for your three on threes. I coached against him. I brought him here to Thailand, but he went with another club. Uh, you know, an athletic player, and shoot the three, just a, a good jumper, leaper, you know, just a really athletic type player. Uh, and uh, he, he seems like a lot of fun to coach because he can do so many things. He can rebound, he can get up and down the floor and transition. You know, you, you can, if you can harness that ability just to mold it, shape it a little bit, he's going to be a real, he's a real good player. And John Fields, you know, he played a little bit, you know, in, in the PBA there. I love him to death. I talk to him every day. Uh, he's winning a championship again uh, in, the, in Portugal. Good hands, runs the floor, easy to coach. Uh, he calls me every day to check up and see what's going on, you know, see how I'm doing. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing against him is he's a center at 6'9", and some guys will be like, you got him a seven footer, six ten or above. But uh, I think he, he defends well, rotates well, and I, I again, he's a, he's a quality person and a quality player. For me. All, right. So, All right, Coach, that's it. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, special interview. Absolutely, I did. Thank you very much for asking me. I greatly appreciate it. Thank but, you. You know, you know, girls, this is the beauty of having Coach Chris as a friend. It, it's yeah. either you, he's interviewed or he will look, be the one doing the interview. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Coach Chris, before we let you go, I, I'm going to give you the floor if you want to greet anybody or shout out or promote anything. How's your chance? No, I have nothing to promote. I'm just thankful that you asked me. And, I, and I'm really happy that you did, and I, and I enjoy it, you know. And uh, like I said, I've met two new friends, and uh, they're better looking than you. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you, can, you, can set these, you can set these two up with me all the time. That's great. So, I'm, it, yeah, but I have nothing to promote. I just want, oh, it's a back I want to say thankful for them. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I believe I believe in what they're do uh, what they're doing with the with, with young with young players and uh, I believe I believe in them and uh, I, I trust them and their judgment on, on handling players and stuff so that that'd be somebody that I so thank you thank you so much thank you so much Nat and Derek and thank you to you and thank you Mamika and of course um, thank you Coach Chris for sharing your um, journey and experiences and giving uh, inspirational messages for for me and for the viewers. And please do follow me in Instagram, Thea Sonorosa, and my Facebook page in uh, Ana Thea Sonorosa. And then thank you CrossFit for the t-shirt. <laughs> I'm supposed to use it earlier, but I'll use it later. And then my little kitchen. Thank you. And um, Ayun, thank you. Hello, Ki Ate Angie, Liz, and Momo, and my mom, and my ate. Thank Rika! You. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Derek, and thank you, uh, thank you, Miss Thea, for this wonderful opportunity to again have another episode on Sports Vice. Thank you to our viewers for always tuning in and for always watching out for our next guest. And thank you to Coach Chris for sharing his, his wonderful story. It's 
always so good to listen to someone so accomplished yet so humble and someone who imparts uh, lots of uh, great great uh, lessons and messages for us and it's it's such a pleasure to have you tonight with us and thank you to the viewers of sports bites thank you for uh, baby dynamite followers please follow my page rika baby dynamite Aquino. And also my Instagram, Rika.Aquino. And also, I would like to thank <laughs> CruiseFit also <laughs> for this amazing shirt. You guys, uh, just you should try it. The, the material is great. It's great for training. Whatever sport you're into, it's just so great to have CruiseFit uh, for your sports. Week. Also, thank you to... Uh, you know, to our viewers in Sports Vice, just keep watching us and we uh, we promise to deliver more uh, exciting and fun episodes, as fun as our episodes. Anyway, thank you everybody. Thank you for watching. We, we hope you had a great time with us, um, with Coach Chris, who is also, by the way, another one of our co-hosts here in Sports Bites. But I had to get him because we needed to get some updates on the Thailand national team for the FIFA Asia Cup qualifiers. On that note, good night. Uh, stay safe, take care, and we'll see you in the next episode. Night. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.